Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today we're going to be using a pure faith build that centered around a wide variety of sacred and flame art infused weapons. I really love a lot of the weapons that have certain faith requirements like the Blasphemous Blade, Giant's Red Braid is a great time, even the Coated Sword and Cypher Pata I have fun with from time to time. Faith builds also maximize certain ashes of war, like Black Flame Tornado. This is probably one of my favorite ashes for invasions, since a lot of groups just try to team you, rush you down. This gives you hyper armor, and can easily one-shot a group if they are just being aggressive around you. Similar to the Stormhawk Axe on strength builds, but I would say this is more powerful. Just because its area of effect is so big, and it has the finishing blast as well that just launches them into the air, gives you time to heal your FP or HP afterwards as well. The stats for the build are pretty simple, you have 50 faith and the minimum strength and dexterity required for the weapons that you plan to use, and then the rest allocated between health, mind, and endurance. And this is my starting talisman setup where I use the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 and the Urchie Fairy plus 2 for the HP boost, and then once I take a hit I do swap off the Ritual Shield to get my Shard of Alexander, or the Dagger Talisman, whatever I'm feeling like, I swap around my talismans quite a lot. One of the stronger things faith builds have going for them is the access to certain incantations they can use, like Black Flame Protection, it boosts your physical resistances dramatically. With it going, for the most part, my physical defenses are 53. I can heighten those further with my Ritual Shield Talisman for the first hit. And then I also use the Opaline Hard Tier, which boosts my physical defense further. So we have 72 physical defense with all of these going, and then I obviously swap off the Ritual Shield Talisman when it's broken. So my natural state is going to be 60 with both of them active. To pair with that, we have Blessings Boon as well, which gives us high HP regeneration. That pairs really well with the Incantation of Black Flame Protection, because it does nerf your Crimson Flask, although you can counter that by using the Crimson Seed Talisman, and of course swapping on the Crimson Tear Scarab and the Guardian Full Bloom set. Barrier of Gold is another good one, because we do fight a lot of Wizards. Having boosted magic defense is always nice as well. You could also mix this build with offensive incantations like any Pyromancy, but I prefer to just use my swords. I feel like my FP is better used on things like Black Flame Tornado, which can easily one-shot with this amount of faith. Whereas my Pyromancer is definitely maximized by having 60 to 80 faith. That really covers all that I have to say about the build though. Let's just see how it performs in the invasions. Don't go to bed. Hello there guys. How are you doing? What the heck? What is this? I'm gonna stand here and then backstab you. I've been tricked before. <laughs> Plus your name isn't even, uh, what is it? HP test? I forget what it was called. I seen someone like that when I did a stream once. It was pretty funny. Hello there. How are you men? Whoa, bonk. Oh, he's live. What in the... <laughs> Wonder why you let me kill him. That was different. Let's get the poison heal going here. Might get hit by the wizardry, though. Woo! Um... A wizard here is terrifying, because there's not a lot of cover. Hey, wizard. Oh. I wish you could parry that. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm wrong. I just, I don't, I just don't think I would land one. I'll have to test that out before I try it <laughs> in the heat of the moment, like right now. Bam! Hey there, both of you at once. Perfect. <laughs> I love that the wizard jumped into it. Hey, wizard. James! <laughs> Hello, James. How are you? You would have burned in the tornado next, James. This time the wizard escaped me. Next time they won't. Oh, what in the... Hi, boys. Oh, I forgot about that enemy, to be honest. Hi there. What do we want to go down there with? I'm feeling like a little bit of this would be kind of fun. Hello there, man. How are you? You don't think I see you? <laughs> Get whipped. <laughs> um, Into this as well. Oh. oh, he almost rolled back into it. Fireball. It's funny, on the day of faith, I'm seeing more faith builds. It's kind of cool. I enjoy. Oh. Oh, wow, I just jumped that. That was cool. Excuse me. Oh, you guys are taunt or tongued. Oh. I wouldn't have guessed. Oh, ah. <laughs> I thought he was going to attack back. Okay, maybe I'll deal with the Pyromancer. Maybe not. Yeah, you know what? Let's funnel them into this and get our little bit of HP back. Hey there, guys. <laughs> I love that I was still able to curve it to just hit the phantom and not the host. You guys are overly aggressive. That will be your downfall. <laughs> Both of you at once. Nice. <laughs> hey, man. You know, you guys both had the Vari mask on. Not the best fashion. Okay. I'm judging. <laughs> I've been spawned into darkness. Should I use the lantern? No. 
We'll surprise attack them. Ooh. <laughs> he doesn't think I see him. Oh, but that boy's breaks. Man, jump attacks to the beginning of this attack. But you know what? You're caught anyway. Oh! That is unfortunate. He got hit by like just the tip of one of them. So he actually escaped. This is a dead end here. Okay, we're gonna not have a parry shield. There is a wizard behind us though. And there's also a real wizard. Okay, we need to not go near the colossal one. Because colossal can stun us. So can dual jumping attacks. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Run right into this. I knew one of you would. That's all that matters. I like how smart guy went into it after he already seen it. Okay, they're definitely gonna try and trap me anyway. Whoa! That's unfortunate, they are really gonna do that. We dodged the AoE. I don't know this map that well. And that is really costing me right now. <laughs> I feel like I ran into every like dead end so far. Oh, there we go. I found the route. Okay. Is this a dead end entirely? Oh, yeah, it is. I knew that was still coming. <laughs> we heal that. Okay, we gotta do this. Oh, the Colossals are the worst. If I'm alive right now. Black Flame Tornado just gets shut down by all the jump attacks. I can backstab him, I guess. Yeah. You can't help him. It's not that one. I need some stamina back here, game, please. Thank you. Huge. <laughs> Jump attack. No. Nope. Okay, we can backstab that too. That was kind of risky with him. I don't want to be locked in there. Okay. Now it's manageable. There's one less weapon that can stun me randomly when I'm trying to get a, a sneak attack Ash of War off. Hey there. Lewis is going to keep playing the same because it's been working for him, right? So, it's fine. And then we can backstab you. Oh, almost. Oh, those both hit me. Oops. This is also a dead end, though, so I got to be careful. What? What? That I can tank. Goodbye, some guy. Wah! Came back right in time. Oh man, that's so lucky. <laughs> that goes into like negative stamina. Can be very detrimental to me. But go for the combo. You guys are in a very tough spot to fight a team. I can say that for sure now. <laughs> Alright, Orion, we're gonna do some fun stuff with you now that we have you alone, okay? Maybe I won't though, you might fog wall me, to be honest. We have the true combo down. What about this into a roll catch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that will definitely do well, but man, I need to like learn this area. It's definitely confusing. I think I ran into every dead end possible. Dartanus. Oh, they're above the ladder. Ooh. Hi, guys. How are you? Where is the teammate? I hear him. Oh, he's there. Hey, man. How are you guys? Oh. <laughs> guys don't know of the power of... Oh, Moonveil. I'm sure you know well about that power. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wasn't expecting random dragon breath. Hey man, let's go Moonvale versus this, okay? <laughs> it's here. That's for you. That is some net. We're gonna do this though. Come in, Sierra. Come on in. The temperature's fine. <laughs> 
And then we're gonna go for some parries on Mr. Moonvale. Because who doesn't want to parry Mr. Moonvale, you know? There's something so fun about it. That's a hole. Oh, he didn't fall in it. No. That would have been great. Hey. Mr. Moonvale. Do your Moonvale. Do it. Next up. Nope. Mr. Moonvale, unleash the power. Use your ult. <laughs> Use your ult. You know you want to. <laughs> Use it. Use the ult. Not when I'm in the air. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'll just parry the regular attack. Goodbye, Mr. Moonvale. I'll be seeing you. Ooh, what have we here? Turby. Hello, guys. Oh my god, look. You look like a faith build as well. I'm also of the faith. Hello there. How are you guys? Oh, a knight's great start. We can have a mirror match, man. Hello. Whoa! No, thank you. I'd rather not get exploded today. If I have a choice in the matter, I choose not to die to an explosion. Thank you. Whoa. What the heck? Interesting choice. We're going to do this. I have an idea here. What if we do this and then we roll catch with the flame? To dodge his fire. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, now we can have a mirror match with you, actually. I am totally down. All right, Turby, look. It's not every day I come across other faith builds when I'm doing a faith build. <laughs> Turby's pretty tanky, though. I'll give him that weight as well. Oh, one of mine's unupgraded. That's right. Is it the main hand one? No, at least it's not the main hand one. We're going to switch weapons then, just because my dual wield setup is kind of nerfed here. Whoa. Whoa. Offhand. Offhand. Oh, it wasn't enough to kill him because it was the unupgraded one. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> 40 damage, though. <laughs> uh, gotta go upgrade that. Oh, hello there, Putch. I see you're probably near the beginning. Well, hello, guys. What are we doing? What do I want to do, though? It would be fun to go in there and knock one of you guys off. Hello. He's going to have iframe, so he's going to be dangerous for me. Didn't know about Darth, I'm going to be honest. But it pays that we had a really long range Ash of Marvel. Really big AoE. Oh, Boulder into Lightning Bolt. That's different. In your general direction, boys. Oh, I didn't get a, like an iframe hit. Damn. I got a night teammate. Darth. Whoa. Who wield Darth? Would Darth be do wielding? That was this is. Wall. It doesn't even matter because I'm pretty sure those died to the banished knight. <laughs> yep. Well, goodbye, boys. I'll be seeing ya. Liernia. Ooh. Well, hello there, Mr. Scythe user. Dual scythes. You don't see that every day. Oh, teammate to the right. <laughs> I was gonna say, why is he alone unless he's like a Grace Duelist? Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that actually has some really good range. My god, this is a, this is a chain of blood loss. <laughs> we're definitely gonna get them in the Black Flame Tornado. I just need to find a safe spot to heal, so we're gonna go right behind here. Perfect. Put our armor back on. Ooh, ooh. They're chasing incessantly. Oh god, the very shield. No. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take it. Whoa. This probably isn't a double kill. It is a double kill. Oh, wait, no, it's not. <laughs> he quite literally had like 2 HP. That is actually hilarious. <laughs> I was using Bloodhound Step to escape, but... Oh, he knew I was going to backstab him. <laughs> well, okay, this is cool. This goes on a little bit longer. I like that. All right, my friend. I want to parry you. Can you do a running attack? I'm pretty proficient at parrying that. What are we doing? Why are you running so hard from the 1v1? Why do people do that? <laughs> like, there's only me and you left. You have nothing to worry about. You're not going to get 2v1, you know? Just a nice old fashioned 1v1.
able to scare him with this. <laughs> uh, I don't know what he was doing, but he wasn't going to escape us. Ooh, a Halleg tree invasion. Hello there, Mr. Knight. I really hope the DLC brings a lot more armor. I want more fashion. Oh, hello there. Fredaria and Solaire. Well, hello, guys. Hello. Um, what kind of build is that guy have? He wants to jump on my head, that's for sure. We're gonna do that. Hello. I have the same weapon. Solaire. Don't think I'm forgetting about your teammate. I'm really not. <laughs> Whee! All right, so you guys got kind of like a layered setup here. Well, excuse me if I ruin it. <laughs> the downside was you also got your teammate hit there. That's unfortunate. And you know what else is cool? I have your exact weapon, my friend. You're going to heal me. And you're going to die with it. <laughs> well, he's definitely one who will be parried. Let's try it. All right, here's what we're going to do, my friend. We're going to set you up for a parry. Oh, you didn't go for it. You are one to me so much earlier. Oh, okay. All right. All right, if he doesn't want to be parried, that's fair. Hey, man. Let's combo him. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we're going to poise through one of them eventually, but... Goodbye, Fredaria. <laughs> Fun fights. I suppose the magic beam on the R2 makes the stun stronger there. Oh my god, Flame Peak? A team invader? A Claymore user? I don't know why I just noticed this, but this is kind of a mix of like my fashion with Lost's fashion. Gotta get this guy off the red so he can heal. Hey there. Get off. <laughs> That's alright, heal up my friend, heal up Black Flame Protection. Got your back, Red. I wish I can give you some of these buffs. Um, do you think I, I can definitely probably kill the Phantom faster? Jinichiro, come here. Coward. Run away from me, coward. Run. <laughs> the defaults to attacking. Oh, 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 oh. I'll jump into it for you, man. There you go. I saved you, Mr. Red. I take the damage. I take the heat off you. In honor of friendship. Jump that. I think he knew I was trying to backstab him, to be honest. What? He did. Well, now he definitely does. <laughs> What's his name, actually? Griff. What? <laughs> backstab! We popped the bubble tier. This is a good wake up. I don't want to hit my red teammate. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No red. Careful. I want to win this one with you. <laughs> That was fun, though. Good teamwork, four. Good teamwork. Well, what am I hearing here? Oh my god, it's Radon. Hello. Hi, Radon. How are you? I'm glad we can enter and be friends. You jumped right on my head right away. How kind of you. Oh, you got a whole team. Oh my god, Blasphemous Blade Enjoyers. Yes. Seems like some danger in my general direction here. What am I stuck on? A lantern. <laughs> well, this is going to be a good black flame tornado opportunity. Hello there. I knew it. <laughs> Always chasing you down when there's three of them. It's kind of easy to read. Hello there. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. That wraps up all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Sacred Knight. I hope everyone enjoyed the invasions. Once again, there's my stats on the right. The armor that I wore. The talismans that I used throughout the showcase, although I did swap them around. And of course, all the different weapons that I used as well. I'm honestly still debating, you know, I feel like the DLC is upon us soon. I've heard rumors of a trailer, so I'm kind of hoping for one, and I'm really debating what build I want to use. I've also been wondering what level everyone's going to be when they start the DLC. A lot of people completed the game at like level 140 to 150 naturally. If you were involved in PvP early and you wanted to make some like meta level builds, then you would have stayed at 125 or 139. So I've been trying to decide what level I even want to start the DLC at, or keep my character at. 
Right now I'm bouncing between starting at 125 and leveling up my character as I go with the weapons that I find, or I'm going to go at 150, maybe stay there and see how big the DLC is. If it's huge, you maybe level up a little bit, but 150 is probably a safe spot to invade people in the DLC as well. If you guys have any thoughts on that, feel free to comment it below, or just what level you plan to start the DLC at. That could help me decide also. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.